Hello everyone, my name is Uri. Welcome to my channel, The Canadian Dream. So today's topic is how do you change your address on your IRCC application, a PR application, citizenship application, or maybe a temporary residence application, right? So most of you keep on changing your address and you need to update IRCC on every change in address. This is the most important thing you have to do. Uh, it's a critical information. So once once you change your address within 5 to 10 days, it's your duty to inform IRCC that you have moved and update them with a new address. So let's get started. I'll help you uh, in understanding how to change your address. So there are several ways. Uh, first thing is if you're already in Canada, okay, if you're already in Canada, then you have two options. One option is that you can use a uh, online service which is change your address online and uh, the other option is if you're unable to use this uh, option which is change your address online which is only applicable if you are uh, applying for PR if you are applying for sponsor uh, PR or uh, you applied for PR card citizenship um, proof of citizenship and uh, similar other applications then you are able to use this online service however in other cases like temporary residence you have to use web form right a web form you must have uh, seen web form before if not i'll show you how to submit a web form as well in the later part of this video first let's get started with the online service so if you've applied for any of these applications it should be straightforward and remember you are in canada and you have applied for these categories then you can use this option once i click uh, here start like change your address online i'll click start it will take me to the next page where there will be security like terms and conditions do you accept the terms and conditions definitely i do otherwise there is like i cannot update my address so the next thing is now ircc is asking you questions to identify your file in their system right so you have different options to do so so you can provide your uci number now uci number is your unique client identifier you will find this on your pr card you will find this on your work permit uh, on the work permit it should be on the top right and on the PR card, it's sometimes your PR card number itself is UCI. So just check uh, for your UCI and, and uh, you can put it here. Any receipt number you have, application number, if you have your PR application or citizenship application number, any other numbers from the list, you can certainly keep it here. Um, for me, I'm going to use UCI because it will make sure that all uh, if I have multiple files open with IRCC, then it updates the address in all of them. So I'm going to choose this and I'm going to enter my UCI. So once I've entered my UCI, I'm going to input other information like my family name, my date of birth, my place of birth, right? And once this information is entered, I will click on continue. Right. So once I continued, now I have gotten like Canadian home address and below is my Canadian home address. So on the left is my old home address. On the right hand side, I can input my new home address. For example, I'll just write a random address. Enter my phone number, enter the date on which this address was effective, right? And then just make sure the mailing address is same as my home address. That way the mailing address is also updated. You can continue, click on continue to move forward. Once you click on continue, it will once again ask about other persons. If there are other persons listed on your file, then you should enter their information. You can continue and finally you will get a confirmation that this is your new address and uh, you know it will populate the new address once you're happy with the new address 
provide your email address in the email address box and finally click on submit so once you click on submit it will take ircc five to seven business days to update your new address on the file and that way you are done and uh, that's amazing if you wanted to check your address has been updated or not you can repeat the process and in the old address you will see the new address in future when it's updated right so that means your address has been successfully updated okay perfect so let me know in the comments below if you have any questions see how to update your address through a web form okay so i'll quickly show you that so if you're still in Canada, but you have not applied for PR, you have applied for temporary residence. In that case, you directly go here on the web form link and you scroll down. You have to select this, like what type of application is it? So I'm going to say temporary residence applied online. And uh, so which one temporary resident work permit, study permits, I'm going to say work permit. And then here you will say, Dear IRCC officer, um, please note that my address, or you can even say my permanent, I can't spell permanent, my permanent address has changed as on, then write the date, 29 December 2021, below is my new address and give you a new address and say kindly update my new address on my work permit application please do not hesitate to contact me on so and so phone number and email address and that's it right so you just write it feel free to edit this uh, you know structure and then you have to add your family name, email address, date of birth, all of this information and application number. So once you've applied for work permit or study permit, you should have your application number. And uh, once you add that, then the next inquirer information is basically who is submitting this web form. So that is you. So you are an applicant. Give your family name, give your given name, give your email address, mobile number. And then finally, consent and go next and then once you go next it may ask you that do you want to submit an address proof or do you want to submit any other supporting documents so if you have any supporting documents feel free to attach it on this application and once you attach the supporting documents just submit and that should be it you your address should be updated within five to seven business days now sometimes web form inquiries take a little bit longer but as soon as long as you have made this change from your end you can relax um, because now it's with ircc and ircc will be updating the address on their file right so those are the two ways you can um, you know definitely change your address by and then there are some other uh, methods like for example if you are in us then you can apply through you can contact the canadian visa office so when you open in this new tab canadian visa office then um, and you go to the united states uh, united states right you have los angeles and new york two visa offices you can contact them and then get your address updated you can use their web form or you can actually contact the visa office, right? So those are the two ways you can uh, contact if you your uh, address or if you are currently in US. And then if you're outside Canada um, and the United States both, so if you're in a different country, uh, first select whether you've applied online or on paper. So online, you can submit the web form it's the same process which I showed you a little bit earlier so submit this web form fill it in um, and you should be good and then on mail you have to contact Canadian Embassy High Commission um, where you submitted your application and uh, you can also use a uh, web form if you applied for citizenship your Canadian citizenship um, yeah so those are the ways you can certainly reach out to IRCC uh, 
but and update your address so depending upon your situation there are different methods but in majority of the cases web form should be able to help you or the online services change my address should be able to help you so i hope this um, video has helped you if it did Please don't forget to subscribe and like my videos. Please do check out my channel. I have created such important um, and useful videos which can help you in your journey in Canada. So don't forget to check out my channel and let me know if you have any questions. I'll be more than happy to help you out. All right, guys, I will see you in my next video. Please take care of yourself. Bye bye.